what is going on guys today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a 1.10 minecraft server so this is the newest version that just came out after 1.9 and being that it has changed to 1.10 I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a 1.10 minecraft server if you guys follow all these steps your server should be running perfectly I'm gonna show you guys how to port forward as well so that your friends can play on your minecraft server and I'm gonna show you guys some plugins that you can use of course the first thing that you want to do is you want to create a new folder for your server let's go ahead and do that name it anything you want I'm just gonna go with uh, 1.10 my oh Minecraft server and then after that you're gonna to wanna to head to the link in the description and this is the dot jar file that we're gonna to use to run our server with so you're gonna to wanna to look for the 1.10 snapshot the latest jar so here it is right here you can click on direct download and it'll download straight away so just wait for that to finish off and then once that is done go ahead and drag that into your 1.10 minecraft server folder and uh, go ahead and open the server folder and now click on that file right there and it, let's rename it to something a little bit easier than that I'm just gonna rename it spigot alright and one important thing is if you don't see the Java icon you're gonna have to download Java Java is the only way that you can run your server without any problems so if you do not see the Java icon then you need to download a fresh version of Java so that will be in the description just download it really easy really fast and simple so the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to notepad let's go ahead and open up your notepad whatever way you wanna do it I'm just gonna type it like that then you're gonna wanna paste in the code that I have in the description now the first code if the first code doesn't work for you after we save this as a batch file then you're gonna wanna try the other code in the description and hopefully that will work for you but this first code should work off perfectly so go ahead and paste it in so there we go now this right here 512 M that's like almost half of a gigabyte that we are giving this server to be ran on so if you guys want to give more RAM to your server so that it lags less your computer is making sure that the server is running more then you can go to my computer or this PC something along those lines with the new Windows 10 update it might be a little bit harder to find that just go to my computer and then go to properties so just right click on my computer my PC this PC right click on it and click properties this is how we can tell how many gigabytes of RAM we have on our computer I have 12 so if you want to allocate more RAM for your Minecraft server so that it runs smoother and we can do that by typing how many gigabytes of RAM we want to give to the server so if we want to give a lot of gigabytes to the server depending on your computer like if you have four you might want to give one gigabyte so that it can run smoother compared to half of a gigabyte being that I have 12 I'm gonna give three gigabytes so you can type in 3 GB to MB now I'll give you the number of megabytes that it is and we can just go ahead and copy that number here and paste it in over the 512 make sure that the M is still at the end of the code and then just hit save as go to your minecraft server folder and then you can either type start or launch or run but whatever you type just make sure that it has dot B A T at the end and then save as type make it all files and this is what we're gonna use to start our server just click on save we can exit out of that now go ahead and start up your minecraft server now so you can do that just by double clicking on the start and it's gonna load the library so we're gonna run into one problem that everyone runs into when starting your minecraft server off for the first time so it says failed to load eula you need to agree to the eula so everyone has to do this just press any key to continue and then go into the eula so you can right click on that and hit edit with notepad or notepad plus plus I'm just gonna hit edit and then change the false to true to agree to it and hit save so after that we can just run our server again and it will load properly so it's just gonna be doing a bunch of loading loading all the files loading all the worlds so this might take a minute and whenever we double click on that start batch file and just so you guys know we type in .bat at the end to make it a windows batch file but whenever we double click on that we are starting our minecraft server now to stop our Minecraft server, to turn it off, we're going to have to type stop and then hit enter. So now as you guys can see that it's done loading, but we can type in stop, hit enter, and then that way it will close and turn off the server without any problems 
rather than just exiting out. But now we can exit out because we just hit stop. So now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and port forward so that our friends can join our Minecraft server. To do that, you can just click on the Windows key and R at the same time, type in CMD, hit enter, and then with this, you can go ahead and type in IP config. So it's just gonna give you a bunch of numbers. Really the only thing that you have to worry about is the default gateway and the IPv4 address. But go ahead and type the default gateway into the top of your browser. So the browser, at the top of the browser, the search bar, go ahead and type in that number by the default gateway. So mine is 192.168.0.1 and go ahead and hit enter. So now it's gonna ask you for username and password. So this is pretty simple. You just go into another tab type in the name of your router, like the company it's made by, Netgear, and then the model number, and then at the end of that, type in the username and password, and it should give you the username and password. Most people have to look this stuff up because it's just something you don't know by heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and find out my model. Now by default, a lot of username and passwords would be admin and then password, like literally admin, password. And that's the case for my router, but just to show you guys how easy it is to search it up, company name for my router, and then the model number, which is C6300. And of course, you're going to have to look on your router to find this out. And I'm just going to type in username, password. And like here, it says how to log in with the router. And scroll down, and what do you know? We find out the username is admin, the password is password. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and type that in now. Admin all right so now we're in so you're going to want to go to the advanced setup and then look somewhere where it talks about port forwarding so i'm going to go to advanced setup here and then here it says port forwarding so just look somewhere where it says port forwarding and click on that now make sure it's on port forwarding and i'm going to change that to always because i'm always going to want my server to be port forward okay so for mine i'm going to have to add a custom service but you just basically want to look on how to add a port so just wherever it says add and then for the service name, you can just type Minecraft and make sure it is on TCP slash UDP. And for the port, just type in 25565. Just type that in for all of them, 25565. And then for the internal IP address, this is what you're going to want to get from your IP config. So whatever it says for the IPv4 address is where you're going to want to type in. So the IPv4, I'm going to type that in right here and there we go so after that just hit apply and it should be port forwarded so let's go ahead and we can test this out so i'm going to open up my minecraft and while that's loading i'm going to go ahead and go into a different tab and then this address right here is what you want to give to your friends after you've port forwarded this is how they'll connect to your server of course you're going to want to make sure that your server is actually running for them to be able to join. So like I said, make sure you have your server on and then you can paste it in and then hit done. So after that, if you refresh it, then you should see your server at the bottom, fully loaded with green bars and ready to connect to. Just make sure your server is on, make sure you've port forward correctly. Just make sure you port forward to the port is 25565, make sure it's on UDP slash TCP, and make sure you put your IPv4 on the router website. Besides that, that is pretty much how you get your server running. From this point on, you can download any plugins that you want to add to your server, and plugins are basically just add-ons for your Minecraft server that enhance it. So let's say you want some mini games on your server and you can go ahead and add that. But if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe because I do make plugin tutorials and I show you guys all awesome different kind of plugins that you can add on in your server and they're all updated. And there's a permissions X tour that you guys can watch to give your players the permissions to do things on those plugins. You click on that video right here to watch it. So if you did successfully make a Minecraft server, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more. But if you are having any problems, I can show you a couple solutions that might be able to help. So back on the port forwarding page, if you guys go down to UPNP, and make sure that's enabled. Somewhere on your router page, there should be something that says UPNP. Just make sure that's enabled and that should work well. Another thing that you can do is you can go to your firewall. So just locate your firewall under the control panel, system security, Windows firewall, and then click on advanced setting. And then after that, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna go to inbound rules and then click on new rule and then click on port. So we're gonna have to add this port to the firewall so that firewall allows it to be used. So we're gonna have to do this twice for the inbound and then twice for the outbound. One for TCP and then one for UDP. So let's go ahead and type 25565 and then allow 
you can go ahead and click next and then you can name this Minecraft TCP and hit finish so there we go now we have to do it again except for UDP so let's go ahead and do that and then 25565 hit next 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 and then name it Minecraft UDP hit finish so there we go now we have to do the exact same thing for the outbound rules let's go ahead and do that 25565 and then for this one it usually has it on block the connection so just swap it to the allow the connection and then Minecraft TCP there we go now if we click on port you hit next now we can do this for UDP so 25565 allow the connection and then Minecraft UDP so that should also solve a lot of problems like I said if nothing works make sure you restarted your router after you port forwarded and make sure that you did not change any numbers in the server properties so if everything works out well then you should be able to connect to your Minecraft server let's go ahead and hop in here bam we're in a Minecraft server so hopefully you guys do subscribe to know about all the awesome plugins that I'm going to be doing a tutorial on or reviewing and besides that have a great day drop a like and I'll see you guys next time peace out